Hey guys, welcome back to Unique Beauty. Today's topic is all about Sierra Leone cuisine. Yes, I'll be sharing with you how to cook fried spinach, sour sour, tola, and then also cassava leaf, cassava fufu. Then also this will come with bonus. So please, if you don't want to miss that, stay tuned till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this please guys don't forget to comment ask questions so please i'll be sharing with you how to use the seasonings the perfect way and then also how to cook simple way without stressing yourself so let's start with the seasonings these are all the seasonings that I always use guys i will name them down below the description below so go ahead and check them later on yes so this is all the spice i'll be using guys washing your meat before cooking it's the best yes guys so washing the meat well with cold water once you finish wash it then you go ahead and add the spice once you add the spice depending to your kind of spice resonate with you while you're cooking it's all good guys you can use whatever you used to yes once you finish add the spice then put it on the stove let it steam a bit just like so once the meat starts steaming up like this go ahead and add water guys i didn't show you where i add the water but the phone went off <laughs> sorry about that and then just like so let the meat boil a bit because this meat water this stock water we need it for most of the sauce we'll be cooking we need that water so you'll see that later on yes so once the meat boiled then you can just take the meat out and then this way you can have it like this as well for soya if you want your meat juicy for soya you can steam it just like the way I, you saw me i steam it then you go ahead and add whatever you want to add you can make this as soya it's very juicy especially when you want your, your soya juicy not dry you know everybody got their preference what they like so you can make your soya like this guys this is the bonus guys yes but full video is coming up how to make soya the juicy one just like so and then the dry one so it's coming up for this holiday season guys yes so as you can see how the meat is looking juicy yes but some of these meats i'll use them to cook as well like the ones with the bone i'll use them to cook later on yes guys so that part is finished yeah so i'm just going to show you how i'm going to fry the fish now for the tola yes like this way i'm doing it it's just like even when you're cooking this is the step you take anyway so that's what i'm showing you you get everything ready before you start cooking or, or else if you're cooking and then you're trying to make things you get things wrong you either put lots of salt or the food burns yeah so as you can see that's the stock meat water which we're going to use for later so it's ready yes as you can see now so we start with the sour sour that's the first one we're going to start with so the sour sour once you wash the sour sour with cold water first then you go ahead with boiled water if you don't want it to taste really sour so you have to use boiled water like this to get all that sourness out yes so once you finish these are all the other ingredients we'll be using mackerel fish i grill that then with some meat yeah grand onions chili sweet chili then with some ogre which is just seminem seed then i'm going ahead now and add some the meat stock water so i'm just gonna leave that to boil while i get the sour sour ready then also if you want to add water you can go ahead and add water depending the size of sour sour you're cooking so i'm going ahead now and add water because everything has to boil yes so i'm going ahead now and cut some onions use your onions because that is just healthy and then it had some flavor and then make your food smell nice so don't be sh don't be scared to add onions add onions guys so i'm just going to squeeze all that water out of the sour sour then i'm going to cut it because they just cut the full leaf and then they froze it yeah 
so i'm just going ahead now and cut it so once it's cut i'm gonna leave that for later guys then i'm going ahead now and check on the pan and see how the progress is going guys give it a stir yeah as you can see now i'm just going to add all my seasonings and they you can add peanut butter it's your choice it's optional just one spoon and then with the egusi you can add that it's optional but it just give you like that special taste to it like coconut if if correct me if i'm wrong but that's the taste i got when i add peanut butter and egusi it's really good yes because it's white sour sour i'm cooking guys so i'm going ahead now and add the sour sour yes this is really good with your fufu then now i'm going ahead and add the red onions and white onions because of the spice it gives you good flavor guys then this is why i add the water before as you can see i'm not adding any more water yes if you got your dry fish powder you can add it your gray fish you can add it i've added everything yes because you know because of the way things are now we're eating all this fertilizer fertilizer you really need to create your own taste when you're cooking food just for you to get that taste yeah yeah so that onions is just add flavor yeah so i'm going ahead now and add the fish and then the prawns yes that's macro i just prepare that before and yes guys those are the leftover yeah i always keep fish for leftover you know yeah so sometimes don't see me i'm cooking a lot of meat i left them this is leftover meat now i'm cooking in the and then the fish as well yeah so as you can see this is white sour sour guys look how it's look at it so i'm gonna leave it now to boil yeah if you want it spicy you can go ahead and then add more chili yes guys the reason why i'm using this kind of chili now it's really good because it have flavor in it and then it's really hot you know so if i really want my food hot i just grab that bottle and add more chili yes guys but you can cook it the way you want to cook it if you want it hot it's good if you don't want it hot it's fine and you can always use your kind of meat you like guys yes this is look at the way it's looking it's all done very quick once you're cooking you see the oil it's sitting up like this that means the food is ready yeah because that's the peanut butter oil sitting up there you can see it yeah so once you see it like this it's ready yeah peanut butter egusi and then sour sour you don't need to put too much yeah you see that at the end guys so this is the frozen spinach leaf guys this is frozen spinach all you do leave it to defrost once you leave it to defrost then you go ahead and wash it with cold water yeah to wash all the ice off just use cold water guys yes so once you finish washing it you strain it because as we all know spinach it contains a load of water yes so this is so easy for me i like the frozen one yeah so you use your strainer and then you just strain it yes but look at it still has water then i'm going to go ahead now and cut it very well as you can see this is the just the full leaf they just froze it so as you can see it's need cutting if you want to cut it so i'm going ahead now and cut mine just like so then you can strain it very well i'm going to go ahead now and then rinse it with boiled water just to get all that icy out and then make sure it's clean and the sand as we all know spinach got loads of sand yes so doing it this way it's quite good yes use the strainer to do it like
you can just leave it now for the water to drain out yes so these are all the ingredients guys meat fish spinach and then sweet chili red onions white onions red chili and then green chili with garlic and ginger guys so this is all the ingredients i'll be using for the fried spinach so i'm using palm oil for this dish guys this is also good for iron as well spinach is really good and use macro fish it's good guys yes so these are all the spice i'm using just like previously dry fish powder gray fish you know as you know it add flavor and taste to the food the grand chili and onions then with the big chili red chili i'm just adding everything now and stir because it's fried spinach so this is how you cook the base once you stir everything then just cover to steam for a bit yes you can also add okra if you prefer it's optional i just like it to add okra because okra too is good for the health yes guys so i'm going ahead now and add some okra it's optional guys if you want you can if you're not okay it's just for sierra leone when we add okra with spinach it make it taste like um potato leaf so as we know potato leaf is so hard to get in the uk it has to come fresh you see so cooking it this way as well it just remind me like i'm eating potato leaf guys it's really good so i add the spinach i'm going ahead now and stir if you see that the palm oil is not much you can go ahead and add palm oil yes so my chili again because i like <laughs> some hot in my food guys sorry but it's optional if you want you can put it it's just this red chili nowadays they're not hot at all so i have to add my spice you just stir everything together yeah if you want to add palm oil you can go ahead and add palm oil if you want to add water if you want it a bit watery you can make your spinach a bit watery i like it stew like this So I add palm oil off camera guys. So I'm just going to leave it now to steam. Yes. So this is the palm oil I add. Just for it to cook well. Because it's stew spinach. So that it doesn't bend. Guys. Yes. You can go ahead and taste for salt if you want to add anything you can go ahead and add yes so this is it it's ready so easy because everything is prepared on time so when you're cooking it just makes it easy as you can see it's ready now guys yes so next is tola yes this is tola guys so as you can see this is all the recipe like i said this is why i prepare the meat the stock meat water earlier on because tola it's really quick to cook you need all that taste and flavor quick so that you get everything right so i'm going ahead with the grilled meat i grilled earlier on then with some blend chili onions and all the spice this is dry prawns and then with my dry fish powder with some maggi i'm just going to add the meat stock water now so that will come to boil yes this is how you cook the tola you just add everything the water that water base have to be sweet because the tola should not boil for long if you boil for long it go water away very quick so this is how you mix it yes so when you add it later to the base it just mix easily so you can use peanut butter like the timney in sierra leone they use peanut butter some part in sierra leone some they just 
palm oil to mix the tola with so that way when you add it to the stew base later on it just mix really quick as you can see the the base it's boiling very well i'm going ahead now and add the fried fish the red coca fish that's red coca fish guys stir very well the base of the tola that combination have to be right with the spice and the taste everything has to come up then i'm going to go ahead now and add the tola at this stage because everything is pretty much cooked so as you can see once i add the tola you need to stir very quick because if not it go really thick especially the tola when you haven't mixed it with rice while grinding it yes so you can see how it's thick yeah so this is why adding peanut butter when you cook tola it's not advisable if you just grind the tola on its own it's even better you can add palm oil at this stage and some water as well so you see the grand tola on its own it's good you know it gives you really good texture as you can see how it's really thick i'm going to go ahead now and add boiled water at this stage don't add cold water when you cook tola it has to be boiled water because if not the sliminess will go away so this is why you use boiled water yes so some people prefer to use peanut butter you can go ahead and use peanut butter it's all good yes so it's just the way they process the tola you need to know how they process it so that way it's easy for you to cook if they add rice it make it even more thicker but the tola on its own it's better so as you know for us in Sierra Leone it depends how you cook the tola if it's for fufu you make it a bit lighter if it's for rice you make it a bit thicker so you just cook it to your preference so this is why i add earlier on some boiled water just to loosen it up a bit because i'll be eating with it with fufu so it's cooked you can see it cooked really easy so this is why to make your meat stock or chicken stock or fish stock water it's really advisable just to bring that taste and flavor to your tola so you don't have to cover it to boil very long if you leave it to boil very long it just lose all that elasticity on the tola you know the sliminess so you want the sliminess so it doesn't end up like soup yes guys so this is your tola look how it's looking it's ready yes guys so if you want any more details guys just comment and ask questions i'm happy to answer them don't forget to poop and smash that like button guys so this is your tola you can see you can have it with fufu or rice really really good taste nice guys enjoy this holiday so next it's the cassava leaf this is a frozen cassava leaf guys yes 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 <laughs> so these are all the ingredients i'll be using for the cassava leaf then palm oil again guys so in Sierra Leone we eat a lot of palm oil that's why we got the best palm oil so we got some fresh okra okra is optional to cook cassava leaf if you don't want it it's fine so i'm going to go ahead now and add the meat stock water just to bring all that taste you know what i mean in this country we don't have organic food so you really have to create your own taste to your food guys yes so i add the blend chili and onions and then leave it to boil then i'm going to go ahead and add the peanut butter later but before i do that let me wash first the cassava leaf i know some people don't like to wash the cassava leaf you can defrost it like this put it in the water or you just leave it out to defrost so once it defrosts like so you go ahead and wash it you need your strainer just to wash it quickly you know if you prefer to cook it like that it's all good but the reason why i wash mine because i always add spice spices like onions chili and then also garlic ginger you know little bit and blend later on it adds that freshness to the cassava leaf when you cook it later on I'm going to go ahead now and add some palm oil and also cassava leaf you can make it white with oil or without non-oil 
yes i'm adding out the onions and chili then big sweet chili yes with the cassava leaf inside the chopper blender it doesn't blend the cassava leaf at all it just blend the onions and the chili yes so the cassava leaf it doesn't blend it once i've done that i add the peanut butter yes guys as you can see i'm adding the peanut butter the peanut butter if you don't want lots of peanut butter in your cassava leaf you can go with two spoon or one spoon so i went with three spoon there yes i add a little bit of peanut butter to bring the cassava leaf up a bit yes guys so you can add a little bit of water that is the prawns and the dry fish powder so once i add that i'm going to cover it leave it to boil later on and add everything guys as you can see how the cassava leaf is looking it didn't blend because this is not the smooth blender as you can see it still look big yeah it's just to add freshness to that cassava leaf it gives you that taste like you just pick the cassava leaf from the farm it's really smell really nice when you do it this way guys it's really good so this is all the grilled meat and fish the base it's boiling now with the peanut butter and then the palm oil with i'm going to go ahead now and add the cassava leaf and stir once the cassava leaf is all in you stir very well so at this stage you can add water or add more palm oil depending the way you want it so i'm going to go ahead now and blend the fresh okra this is optional it's just this it makes it really soft and then it makes the cassava leaf calm a bit when you're cooking it stir very well once the okra is in then this is the grilled fish this is the red fish then with macro then with some meat they're really full with all guys i don't know what's going on in this world nowadays really the food we're eating only god help us so you can see the okra it's looking like this with the cassava leaf but once it's all cooked it's really looking good and soft fresh simple seasoning tastes really nice guys so at this point you just put the heat down because you don't want it to burn yeah let the heat just cook everything so i'm going to put the lid on so guys as you can see this is the reason why i like putting okra in my cassava leaf because as it's cooking now it's not jumping going everywhere I'm going to go ahead now and add some of the red chili which is not really hot this is why i like my ready cooked chili the spice one this going ahead now and add the meat the grilled meat and then the fish Be careful it doesn't flash that's why i'm doing it slowly like this so at this point if you're stirring it you can put the heat up so that way because you're stirring it so that it can dry really quick but once you finish Finish there, turn the heat down again and put the lid on. At this stage, if you want to eat your cassava leaf with fufu, salsa, powdered yam, cassava fufu, this is the perfect stage for it. Yeah, it should not be very thick. It should be light like this. You can also have cassava leaf with fufu. I'm going to go ahead now and add my spice ready cooked chili yes this is really good if you don't 
want it spicy this is optional you can add it but if you want some spice going on into your food just get that ready cooked chili it's really good put it in your fridge anytime you want to eat you just take it out and cook with it it adds flavors spice and then also that freshness so the cassava leaf it's nearly cooked as you can see once it's dry you see the oil is bubbling at the top so we're gonna give it 10 15 minutes then the cassava leaf will be ready to serve guys just cook it the way you like as you can see it's ready now once you see the oil is boiling up like this it's ready so next it's the cassava fufu the strainer and then with bowl so once the cassava if it's defrosted then you go ahead and add cold water and then you just mix it till it's mixed you have to use your hand to do this your fingers so as you can see i am just straining it first this you have to do it twice so this is the first stage once you finish the first stage you add salt lemon and then you mix then you strain it again for the second time so don't mind the water that you put if you need to put water to strain it you have to do it that's the second stage now i'm doing as you can see the first stage the cassava stick yes you have to get rid of it all so you can see the water you can just put something under the pot you have to strain it with the pot that you'll be using so once it's set like this all that water will be coming out the reason why you use salt and lemon it's to make it white and it just cleans it for you very well so once you finish get rid of all the water then it, the base has to be really thick because you have to be careful if it has too much water it will not be solidified yes it will be very loose as you can see i'm going to go ahead and cover it now the steam is just gonna cook it now and then you just mix it very well now to make it look really soft yes cassava for the reason why you put the lemon and then with the salt is to make it white and then kind of cleanse the fufu you know with the smell of, as well because it's fermented so as you can see now i'm stirring it very well yes so once i put the lid on now again it's cooked you don't have to keep stirring it the beginning the beginning you just stir it twice as soon as it's becoming thick put the lid on and leave it to cook and turn the heat down yes so as you can see it's ready now it's really not hard to cook it's only maybe to strain it it's hard yes but cooking it is very easy and this you can warm it it's easy to eat it doesn't make you fall too heavily it makes it light you can warm it up you can eat it even four days three days as you can see it now with the tola it's really good my dear fufu cassava it's really solid and it's it lasts it lasts for longer as well you can you know so this is the sour sour yes guys you can eat the sour sour with rice or fufu you know whatever you prefer it's all good and the tola as well you can eat it with rice guys i hope you enjoy this video if you do please comment let this video have 100 like i want this video to have 100 like please guys and comment at least please guys yeah i hope to see you soon the soya video is coming up next for the holiday